class 12 in this video i will be doing with you some broad questions which are important so kindly take out your copies and write them down as i will be dictating the answers first question uh, i have given you many questions uh, so the first question that can come uh, are there some important questions um describe how chuvkov got natalia married with lomov so you will write Chivko was thinking that Lomov had come to borrow money from him. But when he told him that he had come to propose to his daughter, he was overjoyed and even shed a tear. He kissed and embraced Lomov. He told Lomov that he was hoping it for a long time. He also told Lomov that he loved him as his own son next uh, you can write in fact chuvkov uh, secretly wished lomov to marry his um, daughter as he knew that lomov was rich and prosperous merchant <coughs> and uh, <coughs> excuse me his only daughter who would lead a comfortable life with him no wonder he was overjoyed to know that Lomo was there to propose to his daughter. Next question uh, that can uh, that you can expect. Describe the incidence of humor in the play The Proposal. You can write. Proposal is certainly a humorous play. The very entry of Lomo in, uh, in a formal dress. And the way Shivukov greets calling him darling my treasure my or my beauty make can make one laugh um, then marriage proposal is supposed to be romantic that turns to be humorous as the way natalia and lomov indulge in arguments over petty issues like ownership of uh, oxen meadows and superiority of dogs these make the play more humorous uh, next uh, you can write the answer like that the critical terms that the characters use for each other like scarecrow turnip goes blind uh, hen stuffed sausage etc force one to laugh the hysterical feat of natalia excuse me when she comes to know about the proposal and the wailing of the father and daughter when they think Lomo is dead, create an immense humor. Finally, the way Natalia puts her hand in Lomov's, um, uh, you know, um, uh, in, uh, uh, you, no, you can write, write the last line like this. Finally, the way uh, Chuvkov gets his daughter married in hurry also adds to farther <coughs> humor in the play thus we see that the whole play is replete with humor making it a humorous one okay next one describe the first meeting of lomov and natalia lomov um, goes to his neighbor's house that is chuvkov's house to ask for the hand of his daughter natalia when he talks to Natalia, he becomes nervous. He is in fix on how to make the marriage proposal. He talks in a roundabout manner and Chubukov asks him, asks him not to hunt uh, under the bush, uh, not to beat under the bush, sorry. He makes a mention of meadows which touch their birch woods. At this, a quarrel uh, ensues between uh, Natalia and Lomov over the ownership of the meadows. Both of them claim the ownership and start rebuking each other. Next, uh, you can write uh, that um, in the meantime, Shivakov comes there and instead of pacifying them, he also joins the quarrel. He um, abuses Lomov, which worsens the situation. Lomov is deeply upset. Thus, 
he leaves Chubikov's house and forgets about the marriage proposal. Remember, children, this is not the first quarrel. This is not the answer to the first quarrel, but this is um, only <coughs> how was the first meeting of Lomo and Natalia. Only this much. Next, uh, next one. What is the theme of the play proposal? The one act play, the proposal, throws light on the lifestyle of the landlords of Russia in the 19th century. Full stop. <coughs> the farm laborers work on their farms. So, these landlords led a life of ease and comfort. In fact, they led an idle life. They were full of vanity and pride. They quarreled over petty things. In the play, we see that Lomov and Natalia have a dispute over a piece of land. They quarreled again over the qualities of their dog. Chuvkov, Natalia's father, instead of uh, pacifying them, joins them. He and uh, Lomov abuses each other. Mm, all of them behave uh, in a very funny way. The play also brings to light the social life of the landlords of the 19th century. An unmarried grown-up daughter was considered a great burden by the parents. Shuvkov curses himself for, for being the father of Natalia. An aged bachelor was also looked down upon in society. This theme has been presented nicely through the characters of Lomo and Natalia. This is very, very important. Okay, this is very important question. You will get this uh, definitely in your PDF. Okay. Uh, Next, what are the main points of controversy over the ownership of oxen meadows between Chubukov and Lomov? Um, how and why does uh, Natalia jump into quarrel? Uh, okay, this you can write like uh, the ownership of Oxen Meadows is claimed by both the families, the Lomov and the Chivukovs. It becomes a bone of contention between them. Lomov claims that his Oxen Meadows touch the birchwood of Chivukov. Natalia contains, contests the claim. She claims that they belong to them. Lomov explains that his aunt's grandmother gave the free use of the meadows through the pieces of the Chivukovs. In return, they were to make bricks for the Lomovs. Natalia claims that their land expands to burnt marsh. Hence, oxen meadows belong to them. They have had the land for 300 years. Lomov is ready to present the necessary documents to prove his ownership over the meadows. Natalia threatens to send her mowers to the meadows. Chivukov comes in and jumps into the quarrel. He sides with his daughter. Lomov threatens to go to court. There is a free exchange of abuses and insults. Chivukov calls Lomov's grandfather as a drunkard. Lomov calls Chivukov's mother as a humbat. Natalia calls Chivukov's mother humbat. Natalia calls uh, Lomov dishonest rascal. Uh, okay. And mean. Chubukov calls Lomov a villain and a scarecrow. The dispute ends when Natalia comes to know about the marriage proposal. She surrenders her claim and accepts the meadows belong to Lomov. So this much for today children. Uh, along with this video you will get the PDF of uh, the questions and answers of uh, what we have discussed in this video. Thank you.